Welcome to another installment in our Award Spotlight series, where we feature different awards that you can receive as a College Prep Scholar. Next up, the Pioneer Research Opportunity. You could conduct college level research this summer that could be a valuable addition to your college application, so let's get right into it. We'll be going over the Pioneer Research Program, how to apply, and have a conversation with Clay to hear more about the program. Let's start with the overview. The Pioneer Research Program is a unique opportunity to conduct college-level research to strengthen your college applications. Students who participate in this program attend a global virtual research institute where you conduct research at the highest standard of undergraduate work and you produce a full-length certified research paper about a subject of your own interest. They have 30 research areas which include anthropology, biology, criminology, cultural studies, economics, education, international relations, and more. Here are some sample research projects that have been done in the past, like the socio-emotional brain and decision making, the political economy of international development, film noir in its context, and great scientific controversies in context. You can review these research projects and others that are published in their annual journal on their website, which is linked in the description box. On the right here, we have a sample timeline for what you could expect during the summer. In June and July, you could expect to have weekly group seminar sessions, so five sessions, each about an hour and a half, and you could expect to have six to 10 hours of reading per week. In August is when you would have your individual research mentoring sessions, so five of these sessions that are about an hour long. You would also start formulating your research topic and writing and editing your research paper, keeping in mind that these papers are due by the end of August, so you could expect about eight to 14 hours of research per week. You can explore this and more on their website, so definitely feel free to explore that link in the description box. So as a reminder, students who are admitted to the Pioneer Research Program will receive institutional research resources, personalized mentoring with a professor, access to Pioneer's Writing Center, access to an online undergraduate library, as well as access to a global Pioneer alumni network. And before we go on to how to apply, Michelle here shares how the Pioneer Research Program really helped her in the college application process. She shares, receiving a full scholarship to Pioneer Academics helped me become a more competitive applicant because it allowed me to explore my interests, conduct research, meet scholars from around the world, and write a research paper with an abstract, which I sent to the Questbridge College partners that I applied to. Now let's learn how to apply to the Pioneer Research Program. Your first step will be to work on your College Prep Scholar Program application. Be sure to submit your application itself by the deadline, keeping in mind that you'll have a few extra days for the awards form that I'm about to mention. On your Manage page, you'll find a section that is titled Forms. In this list, you'll find the first one is titled Awards. Click on the blue hyperlink text to explore the different award options. Please note that you can only apply for a Pioneer Research Opportunity if you are also applying to a Quest for Excellence Award. You must apply for both. Once you select which Quest for Excellence Award you want to apply to, you'll be given the option to apply to the Pioneer Research Program. As you're working on your application, here are some things that you can keep in mind. The first is to build a strong application overall. Because your entire application will be evaluated in addition to your Pioneer Research Program and Quest for Excellence Award responses for award selection, it is really important that your entire application is strong. You must attend a Pioneer hosted information session. To understand the scope and expectations of this program, we do require that you attend an inf information session that is hosted by Pioneer exclusively for QuestBridge applicants, and you can see the link for that below in the description. One of the reasons that we do require applicants to attend this information session is because if you are nominated for the Pioneer Research Program, you must still complete an additional application, and details are shared in these information sessions, so be sure to sign up. Finally, when will I know if I've been awarded a Quest for Excellence Award? As a reminder, you can only receive the Pioneer Research Opportunity if you've been awarded a Quest for Excellence Award, and award decisions will come later in June, after College Rep Scholar Selection Notification. Note that only College Rep Scholars can be award recipients. If you have more questions about this process, we encourage you to review AskUB, our online help portal. There you will find a dedicated category to award FAQs, and you can find the link for that in the description box as well. And to give you an even better understanding of the program itself, we have Clay here who helped manage the Pioneer Research Program relationship and has some tips and tricks for applying. 
Hello, everyone. My name is Clay Kingsbury. I'm a senior program associate on the College Partnerships team at QuestBridge. I also am a QuestBridge alum and former college prep scholar, and I help to manage the relationship with the Pioneer Academics Program, and I'm really excited to share some of the benefits of this program and some tips and tricks that you should be aware of when applying uh, for this opportunity. So, all right. Well, to kick it off, um, I think students and myself included would love to learn a little bit more about the history of QuestBridge's partnership with Pioneer Academics. So one of the things that's really unique about our relationship with Pioneer Academics in comparison to our other summer program partners is that Pioneer isn't one of our college partners. They're mm -hmm. an independent organization and QuestBridge has been a proud partner with Pioneer Academics for over five years. And we're thrilled to be able to continue our partnership with Pioneer this summer and to send some amazing and incredible students uh, their way. So, so for students that are applying to a Pioneer Research Program, what could they expect for that summer to look like? Yeah. So Pioneer Academics Research Program is the only fully accredited online research program for high school students. And Pioneer Scholars are proud to achieve high level research that are meeting Pioneer standards. So Pioneer's credibility is highly respected by top universities and colleges because of its unique academic system, its exemplary standards, and proven integrity. So within this system, selected students are mentored first in small international groups and then in one-on-one -on -one research by faculty of the leading colleges and universities, and then it culminates in a full-length research paper. So in terms of what their summer is going to look like, um, and this is a standard summer from their years and past, things might change for this upcoming summer, but for what you could expect is in June and July, that is where you will take place in weekly group seminar sessions. Um, they're typically about five sessions for an hour and a half per session, and then there are about six to ten reading hours per week that you will be expected to do during this period of June and July. And then in August, uh, that is when it's going to lead into individual research mentoring. You'll have five sessions. Uh, you'll be able to form formulate your research topic with the faculty. You then will be writing and editing your research paper. And then the Pioneer papers are due by the end of August. And in terms of the amount of hours that are typical that you could expect based on survey data that they've done, that's anywhere from eight to 14 uh, research hours per week uh, during that period. And then for some students, they may be permitted to extend their due dates into September, depending on the research project that they're working on. So that is a general a sense of what you could expect for the Pioneer Summer um, with this online program. Oh, it sounds like it really could mirror what it would be like to take like a college class and doing research. So it really sets students up nicely for that later on. Uh, so for students who are applying to one of these programs, what can they expect about the commitment or expectations um, that they should know before applying? Yeah, so in terms of what you should consider before you apply and some of the expectations for this program and for all of our summer programs here at QuestBridge is that students who are selected by QuestBridge for the Pioneer Research Program are committing to participating fully in all of the program's requirements. And this includes attending all of the online sessions, completing assignments by the set deadlines, and completing the final research paper by the set deadline. So that is one of the really important things for Pioneer that you should be aware of of requirements is that you do need to submit a paper. But what is a great opportunity by that is by the end of this, you'll have a research paper that will be able to use uh, when applying for colleges or uh, even in high school setting or college setting. So you'll have you'll have experience doing research which is such a great a benefit of this program mm -hmm. and, and to follow up to that question is it possible for students who are doing pioneer academics to have another summer commitment like a part-time job or other programs during the summer yeah, that is such a great question. Since this is a fully online program, there is some more flexibility in comparison to our in-person summer programs. So it is possible for students to participate in other commitments as long as they're able to fully participate in the Pioneer program and meet all of the program requirements that I just went over. So if students plan to attend another summer program, the commitments of that program must not overlap with the Pioneer program. So a part mm -hmm. of being a scholarship recipient from QuestBridge is that we expect you to meet all of the program requirements and to make the program that you've received a scholarship for your top mm -hmm. priority for that summer. Okay, okay, that's awesome. Um, so what do you think are some of the biggest benefits just overall for students who participate in this kind of program? 
Yeah, there are so many great uh, benefits specifically for Pioneer academics. So the Pioneer Research Program is respected for its selectivity and its rigorous academic system. So completion of the Pioneer Research Program is listed on college applications as a college course itself, not as an activity, not as a camp, because of this rigorous academic system that you're doing with a faculty member. So mm -hmm. students that are selected into Pioneer will receive two college credits if they past the program. The collaboration between Pioneer Academics uh, with Oberlin College ensures that the quality of the research mentorship is held to the highest standards, and Pioneer's college credits granted by Oberlin College are readily transferable to other colleges. So this is a great benefit of participating in the Pioneer program. In addition to that, uh, the Pioneer Alumni Network is a powerful resource for intellectually curious high school students. So since 2012, Pioneer scholars have moved on to the best colleges in universities and then have become engineers, computer scientists, business leaders, entrepreneurs. They've gotten PhDs. So Pioneer scholars benefit from the support of this network throughout their research journey with Pioneer, then into college, and even after college graduation while pursuing their careers. Pioneer also organizes a variety of alumni events each year, such as the Pioneer Academics Co-Curricular Summit, which uh, our students are invited to attend, and a lot of our college partners as well at Questbridge attend that summit. So it's a great opportunity, and there are a lot of benefits of attending this program. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know about the college credits. That's super... That's super neat. I wish I had done something like this when I was in high school. Um, and finally, just to, to close it off, I'd love to know what advice you would give to current students who are applying to a Pioneer Research Program through the College of Scholars Program. So the first advice that I would give is that I would recommend that you start now to give yourself enough time to work on your writing responses in the mm -hmm. Quest for Excellence section of our application. And specifically when you're working on the pioneer prompts, to give yourself enough time to put your best foot forward in those responses. At QuestBridge, we review these prompts in our selection of students that we nominate for the pioneer program. So that is really important for us. So make sure that you give yourself enough time when you're filling out your application so you can put your best foot forward forward. Another consideration and advice that I would have is that students who are interested in being considered for this scholarship are required to participate in an information session that is hosted by Pioneer Academics themselves. So mm -hmm. in our application, uh, in this section, you can find the registration link um, within our application, and you must register for an information session and attend one as soon as possible in order to be considered. So these information sessions will be held uh, throughout the end of February and in the coming weeks until March 20th, which is just right around when our uh, QuestBridge College Prep Scholars application is due. So mm -hmm. you'll be able to find this information session link within the QuestBridge College Prep Scholars application in the Quest for Excellence section, and make sure that you register as soon as possible. And then finally, another piece of consideration is that in order to be considered for the scholarship, students must also submit a Pioneer application, and in the uh, information sessions, Pioneer is going to go over what that application is. It's very brief. It's much shorter than the College Prep Scholars application, and it's just so that you are officially within their system so that they're able to process you um, as an applicant. So on top of applying to this program through us, you also need to submit the independent Pioneer application. But they will explain that to you when you attend an information session, so don't get too worried about the details of what that separate application is. Uh, entails. But yeah, that is the advice that I would share. And I would definitely encourage students to check out this program. Um, I think it is one of our really unique summer programs that we offer. Um, and it definitely can align with whatever your academic interests are in terms of being able to do a research project. Yeah, that's super cool. So I will definitely um, share the link to the info sessions in the description box of this video so that students can go explore that. But Thank you so much, Clay, for joining us and for sharing all your insights about Pioneer Academics with our, with our viewers today. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. All right. All right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any further questions about Pioneer, please do feel free to reach out at questions at questbridge.org. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.